Hi all virtual crew. Today we're gonna to talk about how to add your foot to your pinch pot. So in your swag bag, you're gonna need your fork and your smaller block of clay that you haven't used yet. And you're gonna need your cup and you'll put a little bit of water in the cup, less than halfway full. Make sure you seal the bag when you're finished so your supplies don't fall out. And then with this little block of clay, you're going to turn that into a long coil that you can use to add your foot. There's a video on how to roll coil, so you can watch that video and then roll yourself a nice long coil. It should probably be the thickness of your pinky or at most of your pointer finger, okay? Your pinch pot should be finished at this point. So once you've finished the main building of your pinch pot, you're gonna turn it upside down and you're gonna take this coil and you're gonna, if you the end got crummy, you can just kind of trim the end off with your fork and take the nicest piece of your coil and to just put a regular single foot, you would just attach, uh, just measure it up like this and see how much am I gonna need? I'll trim it right about here. Okay, I'll trim that with my fork. And then the excess you can use if you need it for anything else. Okay, I'm gonna kind of line up where it's gonna go. And it's good to stand up when you do this and kind of look from above your clay. I'll use my finger and I'll just trace where that circle of clay is gonna go. Now this is a traditional foot. If you wanna add a different kind of foot, you can get creative with how you use this long coil. Maybe you're gonna do it differently. Whatever you, you choose though, you wanna make sure it supports your pinch pot, so nothing too fragile. All right, so that is the line that I traced around that circle of clay. Now here's where I'm gonna use my fork to score the clay. And scoring, there's a little video on score, slip, and blend. This is just to rough up the surface of the clay so that it will kind of interlock with the piece that you're attaching. So I'll take this piece and I'm gonna score this as well. So that's what that plastic fork is for in case you're going, uh, are we eating lunch? <laughs> Why is this fork in here? All right, so you've got score marks on both pieces. Now you're gonna take your water cup and you're just gonna put a little water on the pinch pot and a little water on the foot that you created that coil. And you're gonna press them together. Again, stand up and look from directly above. Make sure you have it nice and even. And then you're just going to blend. Make that seam disappear. Like the penguins from Madagascar. You didn't see anything. You don't want people to know. How did they make that look so cool? It's my little secret, right? So the blending makes that seam disappear. It also makes your construction stronger. You also wanna blend where these two pieces kind of overlapped or connected. And you also wanna blend the inside. Okay. On the inside, here's where you can carve your name. And you're just gonna use a pencil to do that. So you have pencils in your swag bag you could sharpen and use those i also want you to write your block so let's just say for instance if my block was a1 okay write your block under there and your first and last name and then you just want to kind of double check that your foot is nice and neat double check that this looks good and when you sit this out you want to kind of put it upside down because that foot is kind of fragile because you just made it. This should go back in your bag. If it doesn't fit in your Ziploc bag, you may need to get a bigger bag of some sort, a plastic bag, and one that will be able to seal. This one fits just right. Okay, make sure you seal the bag back up. Well, maybe it's not gonna fit, so I might need to get myself a bigger Ziploc because I made kind of a tall pinch pot. So I'm gonna put this in a bigger bag. All right, so that's how you're going to make your foot. If you decide you wanna do something different, just make sure it's something that's gonna be strong enough to hold your project. Okay, happy.
happy sculpting!